Do you know your blood type? No? Don't worry, a lot of people don't know. Even if you know the type of blood that passes through your veins and arteries. You may not be aware that, depending on your blood type, you may be more prone to certain conditions and even some types of diseases than people with other blood types. And there is a blood type that is the most dangerous. Do you have this blood type? Hope not. In this video, I will discuss blood types, diseases related to some blood types, whether the blood type diet is scientifically proven and the most dangerous blood type in the world. So stay until the end. And tell me, what's your blood type? Did you have a problem with him? Have you donated blood? Right down there. Let's go hospitals and blood centers would have much simpler work if everyone had the same blood type. But that's not reality. How do we identify our blood type? Blood types are determined by the presence or absence of specific antigens. An antigen is a substance that can trigger an immune response if the body recognizes it as foreign. If the immune system recognizes the antigen, it lets the cell pass. If it doesn't recognize it, the immune system will jump in and destroy the invader. There are several classifications of blood types, but most of us only need to worry about two, the A, B, O, and RH systems. The A, B, O system is determined by the presence or absence of two antigens, A and B, on the surface of red blood cells, which are red blood cells. A person can have type A blood if they have the A antigen on their red cells, type B blood if they have the B antigen on their red cells, type AB if they have both antigens, or type O if they have neither antigen A nor antigen B. The other classification depends on the presence or absence of a protein called arch factor, which can be present, one, or absent. So the eight most common blood types, a positive or negative, B positive or negative, O positive or negative, and AB positive or negative, result from these two classifications. The most common blood in the world is O positive, followed by A positive. And the rarest blood of these eight is AB negative. Why is it essential for us to know our blood type? Mainly if we need a blood transfusion or are going to donate our blood to someone in need. A message here. A blood transfusion can mean the difference between life and death. Why would a person need blood because they had an accident and bled a lot if they're going to have a major surgery where they're going to lose a lot of blood? Sometimes the surgeon asks to reserve a few bags of blood. Blood in case you need to use it. Also, in the case of premature babies, people who are undergoing treatment for cancer or leukemia, pregnant women who have lost a lot of blood in childbirth, and those people who have bled through the intestine or stomach, several reasons for needing a transfusion. And for people with rarer blood types, especially AB negative and O negative types, the stock in the blood bank may be limited. Negative OO, although not very rare, about 7% of the population has it, is a universal donor of red blood cells because it doesn't have the surface antigens nor the A, B, or RH factor, so the body that is receiving, the porter, would let it pass quietly. So, type O negative can donate red blood cells to anyone, and it's the blood that will be used most often in emergencies, so it's the blood that is most lacking in blood centers. The downside is that you only receive this type. Type AB aches is the universal plasma donor because it has no circulating antibodies against A or B antigens, plus it is a universal recipient. It can receive blood from anyone. Remember that your immune system will proceed, producing antibodies against any antigen you don't have in your blood. So a person with blood type B who receives blood type A would have an ABO incompatibility reaction, which could even be fatal. The anti-A antibodies present in the patient's plasma recognize the A antigens on the donated red blood cells, causing the red blood cells to agglutinate and block blood circulation. How was your blood type determined? It was inherited from your parents. We inherit one copy of each gene from the father and mother. This is what will determine your blood type. In addition to the antigens I mentioned, there are 600 known ones whose presence or absence would create rare blood types. Luckily, most of us have antigens that do not affect our ability to receive or donate blood. However, luck is only for some. Imagine that your blood is so rare that only 1 in 6 million people could help you if you needed a transfusion. If you had an accident, you needed major surgery, you had severe anemia, or you had a slower delivery. Complicated? Cataloged. Less than 50 people in the world have this blood type. And what blood type is considered the most dangerous blood of all? It's the null RH or golden blood. 
Despite the name, golden blood has no advantage as in addition to being rare, red blood cells tend to be more fragile than usual. If you are one of the few RH null people, you cannot receive blood from anyone else except the few donors with the same blood type. I'm RH negative? Am I RH null? You see, even if you're RH negative, you still have some RH proteins. Sure, you've got little, but you still have something. Otherwise, you'd be RH positive. If you're RH null, you don't have any of these 61 possible antigens in the RH system. So golden blood lacks the RH system antigens of red blood cells. This absence makes these individuals so rare. Most people with that blood type don't know what it is. There would be 35 people with this sporadic blood type. If you want to find out who they are, know that the information is confidential. But we know that one of them has already donated blood. China has the most documented golden blood, with five cases. And do you know your blood type? If you don't know, how do you find out? Is it by the complete blood count? No, because the total blood count only shows erythrocytes, leukocytes, and platelets, so you won't be able to determine the blood type. If you look at old blood tests, try to figure out blood types A, B, O, and RH. Search for this information. If you can't find it, you should have a blood type specific test or donate your blood. In addition to finding out your blood type, you can help other people who need your blood. For every donation, four lives can be saved. So, if you are over 18 and under 70, look for the nearest blood center. You can donate if you are over 16 with authorization from the person in charge. You can't have a contagious infectious disease either. Chagas, HIV, hepatitis, malaria. And you can donate every two months if you're a man or every three months if you're a woman. And now I'm going to talk about the peculiarities of each blood type. First, I'm going to comment on the blood type diet. Is there any scientific evidence? Proponents of this diet claim that depending on your blood type, some foods are better for your health than others. Where did this come from? From a book from the 90s called Eat Right For Your Type, which became a bestseller. Basically, he said that type O came from hunters. Hence, the person with this blood type had to eat more proteins like meat, poultry, and fish, limiting some grains and legumes, looking like the paleo diet. The second most frequent blood type was type A, the rustic type, which should avoid red meat and follow a diet close to vegetarianism. Blood type B he called a nomad. These people can eat plants and most meats, avoiding chicken and pork, and they can also eat some dairy. They should also avoid wheat, corn, lentils, and tomatoes. And finally, type AB called it a conundrum, a mix between type A and type B. All four diets avoided processed foods and junk food. Maybe that's where some people get better. He also cites dietary lectins for a specific blood type, which we know is false. In an extensive 2013 review study of the health effects of the blood type diet, researchers concluded that there was no evidence to validate its benefits. But is there a connection between your blood type and personality? Do blood types affect personality? In Japan, the theory was that your blood type directly affected your personality, as in the signs. Type A, blood carriers were kinder and more demanding, while type B carriers were optimistic and did their own thing. However, one study found no relationship between blood type and personality. And diseases? Could it be related to blood type? It seems so. For example, heart disease. A Harvard study revealed that type O has a lower risk of heart disease, with the most dangerous blood type for heart disease being type AB. But look, don't blame your blood type if you have a heart condition. Checking your blood pressure, glucose, cholesterol, and lifestyle habits is more important than blaming your blood type. Another advantage of type O is that there is less risk of stroke. It must have the same base as the infarction, but not everything is perfect. It appears that type O is more likely to develop ulcers and skin cancer. People with type A blood are more likely to get stomach cancer. It seems it has to do with H. pylori. Also, people with type A blood type tend to have higher cortisol, which is the stress hormone. People with type AB have a higher risk of memory loss and dementia. But honestly, you can't change your blood type or my blood type. But our lifestyle does. Eat better, exercise more, avoid addictions like smoking, reduce stress, try to sleep better and enjoy your life the way it's meant to be lived. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And what will be the following video you'll watch? 
I'll leave two recommendations here on the side. Stay healthy, stay happy.